We will now focus on the, uh, let's say, the library built on top of the ThreadX. Let's start with the FileX. So, uh, first of all, an overview of the FileX and of the LevelX. How is the project integration of um, FileX and LevelX through the STM32, uh, CubeID and CubeMX? And finally, we will take some minutes to implement a real file system on a real uh, device. We will use a RAM disk. This is the reason I ask you to have uh, that file, that source file uh, in your hand. So let's start with the overview about FileX and LevelX. What is FileX? Okay, FileX is a size optimized FAT compatible FAT system. Size optimized, size optimized and highly high performance, let's say. It's size optimized because it has been uh, created for embedded uh, device. It supports an unlimited number of uh, media. Uh, media like uh, USB key, like uh, SD card, uh, like uh, EMMC, like uh, NAND and uh, NOR flash. Uh, so, no big deal really what is the physical uh, um, device used uh, below the, the library itself. The library is full tolerance because it prevents the, the, the corruption of the file, so the file system corruption due to, for example, to interrupt or due to the um, some other task that enter uh, so the contest switch and so on. So it's really fault tolerant. It has been uh, certified by TUV and by UL. By TUV for electrical device, programmable electronic device, medical device, for the um, automotive industry, for the railway industry. It has been certified by UL on the other side for, let's say, home appliances. So electrical control for equipment for household or similar use, uh, equipment for um, electricity, gas, oil, uh, solar, uh, thermal energy, and so on. This file system supports, let's say, the full range of uh, FAT format, so from FAT12 to FAT16 to FAT32, or even the extended FAT in case you want to support more, uh, more than 4 gigabyte insights. On the other side, we have LevelX, so not only the file system, but also the management of the NOR and NAND flash memories. The LevelX implement what is, for example, an EMMC controller in hardware. So what the EMMC controller makes in hardware, the LevelX makes in software. And uh, it is used to implement what is called uh, uh, wear leveling. Because since you know uh, both uh, the NAND and the NER flash can only be erased and written a finite number of times, it's more critical to distribute the load and to distribute the flash memory usage in an even way. So this way, all the flash, the full flash, have the same level of, uh, let's say, consumption. It's really fundamental to increase the disk lifetime, the device lifetime, the NAND and the NOR flash lifetime. Imagine, for example, you have a, a, a trivial example. You have a, a flash memory, one megabyte inside, guaranteed for 365 uh, cycles of uh, erase and write. And imagine also you want, for example, to write one kilobyte per day. It means that without the wear leveling, your application is going to write every day in the same location. So in one year, your flash is lost. With the wear leveling, so with the level X, uh, let's say, library, with this kind of protection, after 1,000 days or after three years, the whole flash has been written only one time. It means that the, the full amount of time needed before your flash memory is lost is no more one year, but is 1,000 years. This is a trivial example, not a real use case, but this allows to fully, let's say, understand what is the purpose of the level X. 
quick overview about the API. The API are written in, let's say, in an easy way to understand. You have the API for the file system, file system underscore something, for the media, for the file itself, so create, read, write, sync, delete, etc. Or for the directory management, so create, find, delete, or something like this. So the, the root of the API is always fixed when dealing with a specific uh, category of media or, or file or directory or flash or node, etc. Obviously, the FileX API are starting with the FX. The LevelX API are starting with the LX. The full uh, list, the full uh, source code, the, the full uh, package of API, it's distributed in, uh, in ANSI C code like the RTOS we saw this morning. And uh, each function is uh, self-contained in uh, its own separate file. So every category of uh, API you see here is in a dedicated file. We will see later on the project created by the Cubemix how it looks like.